And it's with these three colors that magic occurs. I've been painting my whole life and I absolutely never get tired of watching this. Hi, good morning and welcome to Science Castle. My name is Mosey Costapinto and I'm an art teacher. And what's represented in the museum right now is the top 150. And we are very lucky to be here this morning at MOCA in Oakland. It's the Children's Art Museum. The same age group. So it's something wow. really, really adult. Yeah. yeah, this is a second grader. It is an amazing space. And it's not only a museum for children's art, but we also are a facility where teachers can come and have fun teaching what they love art. We have the cones that see color and hence we have the color wheel. And it is a contest that was held um, from children through uh, kindergarten through eighth grade. We teach kids from 18 months to 18 years and it's a wonderful facility. The first thing we're going to do this morning is tell a really fun story and find out about Mike and Maxie and their adventure in color. Gee, what are you guys up to, said Elvis. He's a cute little ghost that lives at Science Castle and is afraid of the dark. And if you look in your book that comes along with your packet, the very first experiment is playing with color and learning how to mix it. As soon as they were down in the basement, sure enough, Elvis got scared. As Mike, Maxie, and Elvis were entering the room and taking a closer look, they suddenly noticed a colorful painted door behind some huge painted containers. We have painting, we have clay, we have Play-Doh. It's where kids can be themselves and have a place to be creative. And Screams and cries accompanied their ride, which soon came to an abrupt stop. Look at this, exclaimed Mike. So many beautiful drawings. I wonder who did them. Suddenly, they heard some heavy footsteps coming closer. Here's a color wheel. And this helps us understand how colors are made. There are three main colors. Something like, like that one, which was clearly out of the kid's own imagination. Right in front of them appeared a huge dragon. The beast was standing on her hind legs, and out of her open mouth came a huge fire cloud. But there was an unpleasant surprise waiting for them. As Mike and Maxie entered the room, they could not trust their eyes. So um, you sort of have to feel like, well, that deserves a little something too. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to choose. Still groping for air, he said, guys, you won't believe it. All red flowers in the Garden of Science Castle are gone. As the dye comes up, it helps you to see the veins that are actually in the petals. All of a sudden, the secret door popped open and spit out, well, the evil Dr. D. I have no idea, neither do I, said the mouse sadly. And what now? Help, Mr. Costa Pinto. Okay, so what we're going to do today with your kit is we are going to help these guys solve their problem. And then we have rods, which are black and white. And we're going to blend them together. And look at that magic happening. We get a rich, gorgeous green. So you've got some wonderful colors in your packet. And if you don't want to work with just these colors, you're now seeing how you can mix them, to break them together. So this is a painting made with the base color of yellow. And look at all the variety of colors you get with yellow. When they're next to each other, they radiate. They look beautiful. This is a famous painting of irises made by Vincent van Gogh. And we're going to learn how to make these beautiful white carnations into colorful, fun flowers. And you can help the color to dissolve using your stick that's in your um, kit. As the flower would start to turn red at these different stages so I could watch the actual science in action. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make chalk, okay? And it's going to ultimately look like this. In your kit, you should find your mold and um, a bag of plaster. Now if I want that to be a little more purple, the trick is to add a little, a little blue. 
five, and six. A purple dolphin is going to be so cool. And all you have to do is flip it over. And look, you're making your own street chalk. Isn't that cool? And we're also going to get some of these round papers that you should also find in your kit, red and blue. So let's see in this experiment if red and blue show up to make the purple, okay? And what I also love about this experiment is they look kind of like eyeballs. So it's sort of fun and entertaining at the same time. What I also want to point out to you guys is the color wheel that's included in your packet. It's kind of a unique one. You'll notice it's pretty different from the one that I'm showing you here on the wall. So this is how you can practice and learn and really memorize what colors make what. Okay, so there's a very good question from uh, one of the viewers about does the speed change the color? But when it's slow, they separate and we identify them as individual colors. I hope that answers your question. And if you live in the Bay Area, I really hope that you come to visit MOCA because it is a fabulous place and creativity is happening all around me. It's really inspiring. Well, besides the museum itself, MOCA actually does a lot of work in the local school districts where we go into schools and we teach art in the classroom. Um, so some of the examples that you see on the wall are some of the kinds of lessons that we do. On weekends, this becomes sort of party central, so people rent out the space for parties. We have the parties a lot in the morning because that's when we do Thank you.